Welcome everyone to Battleheart 2, the sequel to the 2011 iOS game known as Battleheart. I actually LP'd Battleheart quite a while ago. I think by this point it's been about like three and a half to four years ago. Three and a half years ago? Uh, kind of like close to when I began my channel, maybe like no more than a year after I literally did the first upload ever of my channel, you know? And Battleheart is a... Uh, it's honestly a rather unique RPG. That's the way that I can describe it, you know, in the most basic sense. Uh, just because it's, um, well, it's definitely interesting. The mechanics are, I'm not going to say it's amazing gameplay, but it's good and solid and unique gameplay. Uh, tutorial, um, you know what, sure, usually I skip tutorials uh, and LPs because they're kind of boring, but this one's actually rather short and it's nice to actually show it to all of you, you know? Anyway. Uh, so here we are, uh, yeah, okay, uh, the land is in turmoil, yes, five years ago, our king was assassinated, spitting the realm into disarray. King Marcus died without an heir, and the capital remains in chaos to this day. A dozen noble houses war with each other for the crown, while aristocrats, cats, haha, <laughs> that's a great movie, aristocrats battle for power, monsters and criminals ravage the countryside. The toothless royal guard simply watches while the people they are sworn to protect suffer. It's up to us to defend the common folk. Let's quickly learn how to control your party, to move a hero, yeah, whatever. Well, all you do is you simply drag. You touch the hero and you drag your finger and you move. It's actually extremely basic gameplay. See? Now, to attack, you simply drag your character to the target and they attack automatically. The health meter is always above enemies, as you can see. One more slash and he's dead. Okay. Yeah. So they keep attacking until different orders are given. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's being under attack. So guess what? Knight must attack. The white mage actually cannot attack, however she can heal. Wait, not right now. I think it has to be introduced to a tutorial first. Uh, yes. Yeah, he, yeah, see, so I mean, okay, it's actually a cleric officially, but whatever. White mage, close enough. All you do is that. You target a character and you heal. So some classes can attack, others can cast spells, others can heal, others are support, whatever, so on and so forth, you know? Whoops. Now, however, if you tap on a target without dragging, the skill icon appears. That's called group heal. That is the cleric's starting skill in the game. Heals all allies by a certain percentage, which is pretty nice. That's the tutorial. That's the basic tutorial of the game. All right, so now we're back in the menu here. Uh, so you can always have up to four characters. Now, unlike the first Battleheart, you can actually start with every single class in the game. I think in Battleheart 1, you couldn't do that, I think. Um, so yeah, see, there's a... There's Knight, Cleric, there's also a Rogue, kind of like a Thief slash Assassin, Pyromancer, Bloodweaver, Shadow Knight, Bard, Berserker, Frost Mage, Samurai, War Priest, and Necromancer. So that is all the classes in the game. Uh, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to try a Bloodweaver. They're kind of like Black Mages, essentially. And I'm also going to try, let's try a Berserker. How about that? Let's do a Berserker. I think that should work, right? Let's do that. Are you ready to battle? Now, there is gear and talents, but I think that's going to be introduced after the first battle. Anyway, this right here is the world map of the game. The way that this works, it's quite simple. There's always a boss stage. Currently, it's this one, level 6, the Cyclops King. However, you need to level up significantly before taking on that boss. I'm just telling you right now. Uh, however, it's level 1 XP bonus. Level 1, I can get a crystal. Or level 3. Skip to level 3 for now. The first battle of the game should be a level 1. So do I want bonus XP or do I want a crystal? I'm going to go for bonus XP. So let's do it. Let's get some bonus XP, okay? Okay, so here we go. It's going to be rather easy, you know, to deal with all these uh, enemies in the beginning. All you want to do is have the cleric target one of the attackers. Whereas the other two are just going to be attacking enemies and they'll be dying. The Black Mage slash Bloodweaver, whatever, uh, will kind of be in a distant, you know? And you should also be uh, healing the Knight. Now, uh, the little dots on the top are indicated, uh, they're indicating rounds, essentially. Uh, once every round is over, the dot actually disappears. Okay, so right now there's not much I can do but just keep attacking. Remember that you do have skills. I haven't really talked about skills yet except for the group heal. Let me go ahead and show off the group heal. See? It's a nice group heal. Heals all allies. If you want to know the specifics, there is actually a description in the menu once I finish this battle, of course. It will indicate what that is. That's round two down. Round three. Round three. 
I think the bats actually have less HP but more attack. That was a one, <laughs> one enemy round? Okay, that's kind of interesting. Okay. I guess I'll keep healing the knight. That really just makes the most sense to me. Okay, trying to heal the Berserker. Okay, she's under attack now. Gotta run, gotta run. Yeah, if they ever target the, the Cleric, you need to um, take necessary steps to actually protect your Cleric, because we do not want that to happen. Alright. Here come some more Goblins. Okay, so you have to actually heal. And fast. Okay, you know what? There. That's another skill, which I haven't even shown off. But it's a skill nonetheless. I've been doing this with little to no skills. All I, I did two group heals and then one of the Black Mage skills. But let me actually show you what the skills are in case you're curious, which I feel like you are. You're all going to be curious. I reached level two. Nice. Okay, so back in the menu. Alright, so there we go. There are three things. Gold, crystals, and skill points. Now, if you go to the gear slash talent, we can see what's going on here. We're currently in equip. To put it simply, gold is used for buying items, crystals can enchant and strengthen those items, and skill points are used to learn new abilities. That's it. Gold to buy, crystals to uh, enchant, skill books for abilities. That simple. Okay, so let's look at talents. So the knight's first skill is shield rush. Charge a current target at high speed. Upon impact, deals 200% weapon damage and knocks the target down for 3 seconds. Nice. The cleric's as group heal. Instantly heals all allies for 300% weapon power. Okay. The uh, blood weaver. Drain life. Violently extracts the life force from your target, dealing 300% weapon damage. This life force then seeks out and heals the most injured hero in your party for 100% of the damage done pretty useful. It's a nice heal too. Frenzy. Fly into a frenzy for 10 seconds, increasing attack speed by 75%, movement speed by 20, sorry, by 50%, and auto attack damage by 25%. It's basically like haste and berserk in Final Fantasy, you know, combined for 10 seconds, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Equipment, I mean, they all have their basic starting equipment right now. Nothing I can really go over there. I can go to the shop, but I don't really have any money. I have a little bit, so I'd rather not do that or enchant. Actually, I do have a skill book, though. So what I can do is um, I can actually make somebody learn a new skill. Uh, to learn skills, you simply go to Talents, and you tap on the next one. Shield Wall. Take on a defensive stance, reducing damage taken by 30% for 10 seconds. Shield. Encases your current target in a defensive shell, reducing the damage they take by 40% for 10 seconds. Kind of similar, actually. Soul Crush. Unleashes a blast of shadowy energy that deals 500% weapon damage, but also consumes 25% of Odette's maximum health. As you can see, it's a 5 second cooldown time because of the... Ooh, that's a big uh, drawback there. 25% of her total health, holy shit. Whirlwind. A spinning dance of death that strikes all nearby enemies 3 times for 150%. I'm gonna go ahead and learn this one. It's a nice AoE skill. There we go. So now the Berserker has 2 skills. Okay, what do I want to do? Level 1, level 4... For level two for some gold. Uh, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna try level two actually. It'll be a little tough. I know that I reached level two, so that's nice, but still. It could be rather difficult. But, as always, you do wanna make sure that you are getting all of your skills and using them, you know? It's important to do that. Right now, I'm not gonna use them because I don't feel like I need them, honestly. There we go. Okay, so that's one round down. Okay, I believe they're going after the... Actually, they're not. Oh, that one is. That one is, though. That's not good. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Okay, just keep stalling. Everybody's attacking that one. That's fine. Okay, now you gotta charge after this one. And now it should be a lot easier. Okay, two rounds down.
Who? Oh my god. Run for it. Okay, so everybody's. I haven't actually used skills. I haven't had to do it yet. Although I feel like I'm gonna have to do it right now. Okay. Here we go. We get some nice skills there. The more bats going, the more bats. Got the second bat down. And there we go. Okay, three rounds left. Look at that nice whirlwind attack. Oh, jeez. Alright, shield bash. There we go, he's stunned. He is stunned and out for the count. You get some group heal going, okay. Nice, nice. Keep attacking. He's down. Honestly, uh, this game in general, like, the graphics are an amazing improvement over the first one. I'm sure you remember the graphics for the first one, you know? Being completely, like, just 2D, like, all the sprites and stuff, you know? Which was... Oh, shoot. Gotta heal. Just gotta heal. Another whirlwind. There we go. Nice, nice. Heal bash. Sweet. And then group heal. And that's gonna heal a decent amount as well. But yeah, the gameplay is also, it feels a little bit more smooth. I mean, it's fairly similar, not like it was really improving, but overall it does feel a little bit smoother, you know, compared to Battleheart 1. Okay, so I got some bonus gold, of course. That's pretty nifty as well. And I'm done. So basically, the way that this works is that this game is a little bit more non-linear compared to um, Battleheart 1. Battleheart 1, if you remember, is very linear. It's actually very linear. Um, I'm not doing that one. I'll do this one. Yeah, because like it would just be a number of stages until you eventually get to the boss, you know? And if you wanted to grind more, you would just do the same stages over again. Battleheart 2 doesn't work like that. Instead, they always give you like three random, you know, like, I guess, three random levels. But the boss one is always fixed, you know? It's always going to be the same one waiting for you there until you actually get around to it. Overall, I think it's actually a nice improvement, if I must say, you know, to have it a little bit more, more non-linear. Generally speaking, now, you know, nowadays for RPGs, it seems that non-linear RPGs are more fun for people. Uh, back in the day, I don't think it was like that. It definitely wasn't. And the simple reason, because a lot of the really great RPGs, like the Final Fantasy games back then, are fairly I mean some I know some Final Fantasy games with world maps were very non-linear I get that but that's not what I was going for there's other ones like I mean to me personally Final Fantasy 10 is my favorite RPG of all time I don't know if it's my favorite game of all time but it's definitely like on the top five you know however that game is extremely linear I'm sure you know that already but it totally is and there's other games that I enjoyed as much as Final Fantasy 10 that were RPGs that were also just as linear Whereas in more, more recent years, not that it's really recent anymore, Final Fantasy XIII is also very linear, but it was not well received um, for various different reasons. Part of it was it being non-linear, which I, sorry, linear, uh, which in a way I can kind of like understand where people are coming from. Others call people like hypocrites, you know, when they're like, oh, I love Final Fantasy X, but I hate XIII because it's so linear. But Final Fantasy X was like that too, so like, what's the argument there? Well. It's complicated, but it's just that there's a way to make good games, you know, that are linear as well. So, all this has to do with Battleheart 1 versus Battleheart 2, being linear versus non-linear. That's, that's it. Just think of that, you know? Just think of that. Wait, why aren't you attacking mage? Whatever, he's dead. Okay, one left, one left, and attack. Okay, they're attacking the cleric now. Wow. Okay, you're gonna use frenzy. Here we go. Freaking berserker, man! Literally a berserker. Okay, they're dead. As you can see, the game is a. Uh it's fun. It's fun gameplay. 
It totally is. More skill points? Sure. I mean, I really should have actually bought other skill points, or skills with those skill points I got, but totally forgot. Oh well. What I also like about this game is that you can actually play with your iPhone, like, you don't have to be holding it. Which I, I absolutely love that. I love it so much. You know what? Just freaking kill everything, man. Seriously. Just, just kill. That was, um... I mean, for being around one, a little crazy there. Okay, you gotta kill one goblin before the one on the right arrives, man. Okay, you gotta run. Just keep stalling. Keep stalling, man. Okay, now you gotta attack. Here we come the Knight and the Berserker to assist. Number two down. Okay, you need to use Berserker because you're gonna freaking die if you don't do that, man. Help him out. How many rounds are left? Like, holy shit, man. Yeah, one of the uh, biggest strategies that I usually want to do is um as soon as you see an enemy in one round you need to kill them ASAP that way they um like that way you try to kill at least one enemy before others spawn because as you can see not all enemies actually spawn at the same time I'm sure you noticed that so with that being said if you're able to like kill one or being really close to killing one before the next one spawn then that is extremely beneficial okay like right here you gotta kill one before the one on the right arrives that'll still leave only two goblins attacking the party at the same time, as opposed to three, you know? And that's exactly what I'm talking about. And, okay, all dead. But yeah, I mean, overall, like, in terms of progressing the story in this game, it's all about grinding, I'm sure you can tell, you know? It's all about grinding. You gotta keep grinding. To make that money. And that experience. And those skill books. And crystals, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, now I have four. Um, well, I guess I can just basically give everybody everybody's next set of skills, right? What's her next one? Oh shoot. I mean that one requires two. Um You know what? Sure, learn that. So that's a shield, and that's another shield. But I'm actually gonna learn I'm gonna learn this one. That'll give you a better, you know, a better one. So Guardian Angel becomes infused with holy power, enhancing all healing by 50% for 10 seconds. So you become a goddess healer. Now my black mage, as you can see, doesn't actually have... Ooh, I want... No, no, no. Yeah, my black mage doesn't actually have um, a second skill yet, which is perfectly fine. That is actually okay. It's not a problem. It's just that I'd rather save it some more skill points, you know? I'd rather use it on the... On other ones, essentially, right now, you know? Okay, so that's one round out of still five more. Wow, okay. Yeah, when these battles are automatic here. The main thing you really want to do is just know who you're healing as the cleric. Generally, the knight has better defense, so he can tank more hits, whereas the berserker is more offense, uh, less de less defense. So generally, you are going to be healing the berserker more because he does take damage at a higher rate than the knight, you know? Oh Jesus, time for the skills, here we go.
Yeah, I, I love that AoE skill. I honestly really love AoE skills in most RPGs. Like, it's just nice when you use a move that, like, hits all opponents or something, you know? It's so sweet and so sick. Okay, I guess it's time for a group heal. You know what, do some of that too. And that. Just do everything, man. Just do everything. I mean, we're about to finish this up, right? This is the last one. Or wait, is there one more round? I think there's actually one more round. Shoot. Uh, no, there wasn't. Okay. Perfect. So that's going to put me to level 3. Now that I'm at level 3, I can take on level 3s fairly easily. Your stats do go up per level. Uh, however... Characters themselves don't have levels in this game, only you as the player have a level. But every time you level up, all the stats of all of your characters go up. At least that's the way that I had seen it work in my, when I was playing it by myself. Um, I only got a skill, okay. Skill points, let's see. I mean, that's two skill points, but it's only level one. I don't want to do a level one. I mean, like, what the shit? Hmm. So I, I do want skill points, though. I do want skill points. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Sometimes it's worth it for the skill points because you need a lot of skill points in this game. And it's not like I'm not getting experience. I am, it's just less experience, you know? So honestly, it's fine. It is okay. It is just gonna be significantly easier, you know? But whatever. Whatever. So with these skill points, I can get the Black Mage's first skill, and then I can also... Wait, actually, no, I only have one. Never mind. Shoot. That was... Yeah, never mind. Never mind on that. Totally messed up there. Right? I got confused about something else. So just forget about it. Okay, Berserker, do something. Jesus Christ. Okay, dead. Keep killing. Okay, I gotta use all my skills in the next round. There we go. Here we go. Let's unleash, okay? I'm trying to get the Berserker, man. Okay, do some of that. Do some of that. Bam! You just annihilated that guy. I actually don't even have to use all my skills in this round, man. I don't have to. Because that was another rather simple round, you know? Okay, so that, that was uh, for two skill points, and I guess a little bit of gold and some experience as you can see. Not bad, not bad at all. I like that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I have, I have three now. Yeah, so I can actually do that, okay. Um, let's go to gear talents. I'm going to go to Talents here and get Soul Crush, which again deals a massive damage. Only a 5 second cool time, but it does deal damage back to you, so you gotta be careful. And I'm also gonna get War Cry. So basically, it's an AoE Provoke. That is amazing. It provokes everything. And that right there, by the way, that skill is the logo of Battleheart 1, or one of the few logos of Battleheart 1. I'm sure you remember that, which is a nice fun fact there. Okay. Um, level 1 for a crystal, level 3 for a random item. I'll do the level 3. I'm ready for level 3, people. Here we go. Level 3 levels are going to be a little different. Harder, obviously. But there is a new enemy introduced, I believe. Let's see if we actually see him. Uh, I don't think so. Not not yet. Not yet. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. There we go. Gotta unleash, man. Gotta unleash. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's what I was talking about. 
Oh, Jesus. You need to run. You need to get the hell out of here and just run, man. Okay, you need to do that. Defend. Go for the knight. Make him defend even some more. Do a group heal. Do some of that. What you want to do is kill all the enemies that are not the ogre first. There we go. And now just focus on the ogre. These ogres are very formidable enemies. They have a lot of health. They have a lot of damage, you know, potential. It's pretty crazy. Um, if you just heal with the, the cleric, it's not enough to output, to offput, sorry, or what do you call it? I don't even know how to say it. Like, if an ogre is attacking a knight, even the knight, uh, it's actually not enough damage. Or sorry, they're doing more damage. It's not enough heal, I should say. It's not enough heal to offset the damage from the ogre. Because the ogre is dealing more damage. So, you gotta be careful and sometimes run, sometimes use those uh, shielding abilities, you know, to reduce damage and so on and so forth. Here we go, there's another one. Okay, Knight, get the fuck over there. Attack. Okay, you. Shit. At least I can stun the ogres, though, so that's nice, of course. However, I am kind of in trouble here. You gotta kill the ogre. You gotta kill the ogre now. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that, my bad. That was my fault. Okay, you need to heal faster. Hurry up. One round left. Heal the knight up, please. Please, for the love of god, don't have another ogre in this round. Because I don't know if I can take it. You gotta use group heal. You gotta do it. Okay, focus on this guy now. Okay, I won. Yeah, did you see my health there? Almost died twice. Like one of my characters almost died twice. That's. Ooh. I'm telling you, difficulty does ramp up per level. I got an item, not bad, it's a cleric's rod, so even though it will say like it has more attack, obviously clerics don't attack, the more attack a cleric has, the more healing they actually do on their automated attack. Uh, so yeah, see that's a plus 12, this is a plus 14, so I'm going to get two more, which means that her healing is now a little bit better. I can also actually sell this one now that I don't need it, and get some money. So I have 529. I could actually do quite a lot here. Um, hmm. That one's really interesting. It's a hundred. It actually ups the healing potential as well. What is this? What the hell's knowledge? I actually don't even remember that. Plus eleven power. Oakwood staff, that's for you. Damn. And then cotton cloak. I, mean, I kind of want that. I'll buy this. Sure. I want to buy this too. The pill would. What the hell? Okay. Already got that. Sure, let's do that. Okay, let's go to equip now. So that is a 9. That's a, um... Wait. That's a 9. That's an 11. So that's plus 2. That's healing, so I'm going to give that to you. And then that's plus 2 armor, so I'm actually going to give that to you. Now you have 7 armor. Not bad. That's pretty good. Now I can go to shop and basically sell this stuff. Sell that, sell that because they're garbage. 189 now. Pretty good. Still thinking of getting that stuff, but I don't know. That's 130. At the plus 9, is it worth it? I mean, I feel like it kind of is. You know what? I'm going to buy it. Let's buy it. Go to equip now. That's plus 2 damage. Now I can go to shop and then sell it. And there we go. So I definitely made some upgrades to my stats, so that's nice. Uh, however, I believe I'm out of time for this episode. Yes, I am, so I'm going to end it here. In the next episode, I'm going to be um, 
Well, I mean, I gotta keep playing some more until I can get to level 6 or so, or probably possibly even more to beat the Cyclops King, you know, effectively. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.